Hi, thanks for watching. My name is Mark McKinnon. I'm with Discummy Publishing, and we produce Sailor Moon Crystal board games. So our first game, which was the Dice Challenge game, that is out now. But today I'm here to talk about our new game coming up, which is Truth or Bluff. So it's a bluffing game, and we're going to be passing tiles between players. It plays from three to eight players. It takes about 45 minutes or so. It's a lot of fun. It's a great game where you're trying to determine who has what tiles that they're passing, who's lying, who's telling the truth, and you're trying to get the most number of points. So why don't we take a look and, and see what's inside there, and I'll teach you how to play. So let's take a look at the components that come in the game. So as a tile passing game, there's gonna be 96 different tiles that are each gonna have one of the characters from the Sailor Moon Crystal series on it, from all the Pretty Guardians as well as Tuxedo Mask. Additionally, you're gonna to have to have a place to hold the tiles. So we have eight custom plastic tile holders with a slight angle to give you a little bit of privacy that you can see them and keep them private from other players. We also have end game tiles. At the beginning of the game you're going to draw tiles to determine how the game is going to end. Each end game is going to end a little bit differently. Success tokens. These are little tokens with the number one, two, or three on it. Throughout the game whenever you force someone to take a tile you're going to draw from this bag to determine how many victory points you get and that's going to kept secret until the end. And then we have the two cloth bags, one of the hold the character tiles, one of the hold the success tokens. So this game is about telling the truth and bluffing. You're going to be taking a tile, you're going to identify what's on it, and you're going to pass it to another player. Now when you identify, you can either tell the truth or you can be bluffing. So for example, here's Sailor Moon. If I took this from my holder, I'm going to pass it to someone along the table, any of the other players, and I'm either going to say it is Sailor Moon, or I'm going to bluff and I'm gonna tell them one of the other characters. For example, could be Sailor Mercury, could be Sailor Mars. Whenever you receive a tile, you have to determine if the person is bluffing or telling the truth that passed you a tile. And it's based on a number of factors. You're gonna look at their body language, you're gonna look at what they've done in the past in the game, look at all the other tiles that are on the board to try to make a determination, are they telling the truth or are they bluffing? Because if you can correctly identify what they're doing, you're gonna force them to take the tile. The goal of the game is not to take any tiles. Taking tiles is what's going to end up triggering the end game, and you're going to be out, and everyone else has a chance to win. So if I pass you Sailor Moon, and I say it is Sailor Moon, you can then say truth, that you think I'm telling the truth, and it is Sailor Moon, or that I'm bluffing, and you think it's a different tile that I'm identifying. If you're correct, if you say, yeah, Mark's telling the truth, and I actually passed you Sailor Moon, identified it as Sailor Moon, so I was telling the truth, you're forcing me to take the Sailor Moon tile, and I keep it face up in front of me and that will add towards the end conditions of the game. Alternatively, if you think I'm bluffing but I was telling the truth, you have to keep the towel in front of you because I tricked you. And whoever did the tricking or whoever correctly identified it draws a success token from the game. Now instead of identifying truth or bluff, if a tile's passed to you, you can instead take a peek at it and then pass it along to someone else at the table, giving them the same two choices, truth or bluff. So if you pass me Sailor Moon, you say, yeah, it's Sailor Moon, and I take a look at it because I wasn't sure if you're telling the truth or not. I can then pass it to someone else and say, yes, it is Sailor Moon, or I can say, no, they were bluffing, it's actually Sailor Jupiter. And that can continue around the table until every single player has received the tile. Of course, at that point, the last player, they have to de declare truth or bluff simply because they can't pass it to anyone because everyone else knows what's on the tile. The game continues like that going around, you're going to start with your 12 tiles and every time you receive a tile, it's then your turn to play. You're going to look at a tile, identify it and pass it and the game continues around the table until the end game is triggered. So when one person runs out of tiles, the game is over uh, and they've triggered the end of game. If they have to play and there's none left. The other ways to trigger it, depending on what's in, in, going to be in front of your hand. So some of them could be if you have, for example, four copies of the same character, or if you have three sets of two or two test sets of three. All the different tiles, you're going to draw it right at the beginning so everyone knows what the end game conditions are, but they're going to change game to game. And at the end, everyone else adds up the number of success tokens that they have, number of victory points, and that determines who's going to win the game. So it plays three day players. You can download the full rule book from our website and take a look at that. It's gonna be available in retail stores as well as you can order it from our website directly.